Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 9th of April 2023. Uh, we're pushing up towards lunchtime and I'm feeling very sleepy. <laughs> I think I should actually not do this. I should probably just go back to bed but because um, I'm feeling tired. I woke up very early this morning messing around doing stuff and uh, feeling tired at the moment but um, I, I would like to get this game uh, done and uh, finished but um uh, as as always uh probably this is not likely to be a, a notation free game uh i don't think i've got the uh, patience to play the game in that way uh today uh, anyway we will see though let's see when we see what's going on in the world i see um uh, trump appointee judge has decided that uh the abortion pill is now illegal uh, this man's views on, on abortions are widely known. His views on human uh, gay rights or transgender rights also well known. An extreme bigot, let's say. <laughs> Why do Americans have such a political judiciary? Um, I know for years and years, Mitch McConnell's uh, project to get right-wing judges um, selected has been very successful. The Federalist Society has placed extreme right-wing judges all across America. But it's just such an insane system to have judges. I mean, how are people supposed to have faith in a system when judges are political appointees? I mean, you know, judges should never be political, ever. They ought, they ought to give up their right to be political when they become judges. And, and before that, and they, they ought to be constantly monitored as well to make sure they're not making decisions based on politics rather than on the law. Uh, which clearly a couple of the Trump judges have tried to do. Uh, maybe they get overturned on appeal, but that's not the right way forward, is it? Anyway, we'll see what happens with uh, the continuing crusade against abortion in America, the insane crusade to force women to have their babies give birth, uh, whether they want to or not. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This New York Times hard-level game, regular for the channel. Yesterday's game was pretty tough, I thought. And it seems uh, a lot of people agreed that it was quite tough. We have eights blocking across here. If, as I say, if today's is anything like yesterday's, <laughs> expect the pencil marks to come thick and fast. I see fives blocking up here, excuse me. And across here, let's get a five in there. I see sevens blocking across here and up here. Let's get a seven there. And here we have sevens across and across here and down here. That's going to put seven into that square. We'll go up here with seven, up here with seven. There we go with the seven. Okay, I think that leaves a little block of four up there. Uh, okay, so we have 4 and 9 blocking down here and 4 and 9 blocking down here. That means that we have 4 and 9 in those squares only. Uh, so, great, because we've got 8 blocking down across here and down here, so that's going to give us an 8 here. So, uh, let's see that again, 4 and 9. Um, so, the twos will be in these squares 
Actually, this must be a two because look, we've got two blocking this square here, two blocking these three squares here, and we know this is four and nine, so that's got to be a two, hasn't it? Uh, which is gonna give us two up there, and two somewhere there, I guess. Back again, uh, four, nine. So the missing numbers comprise one, three, five. Do we know anything about one, three, five? I don't think so. Um, I wonder if we could look up here. We know this is four and nine. Might have a look up here just in case there's anything. So in these squares, we're looking for one, two, uh, three, eight, I think. One, two, three, eight. So the eights are up here. Oh, actually, the twos across here. Ah, two across here and two up here. And then eight up here and eight up here, right? So that's a pair of two and eight. Okay, that's two and eight. And this is uh, four, nine. This is two, eight. So what's left? Uh, uh, one, three, I think it is, right? So we got the one blocking across here. So that'd be one and that would be three. Which would give us three is down there. Okay, three across here, three across here, and three up there. That puts three into that square. Three down here, down here. That's a three. Now we know this is four and nine. And so this is one and five. So one blocking up here then, and one blocking up here. There's our one. And five is somewhere here. What else? Two, five. Uh -huh. So this is what uh, this was. Oh God, I've forgotten again. Four nine down here. This is uh, one five, right? So this is six seven, right? Yes. So seven blocks across there. That's our seven. And that's got to be our six. Uh, here we are left with, I think, eight, nine. Yes, eight blocks up here. So here's our eight, and here is our nine. The eight goes down here, down here, and across these two rows, so we get ourselves an eight down there. What about the nine? Uh, maybe not yet. But anyway, we have one across here and one up here, so we can definitely get ourselves a one in that square. I've been looking at this block up here, but I don't see what I can do. We have eight blocking up here, so eights are in those squares. One block's up here, so we have ones in those squares. So we have eights, ones, and we have fours across here. 
but then the sixes can go anywhere, I think. So not quite good enough. We have a pair of fours in these squares. Still, that's not really enough. Four. Fours are possible in most squares. Let's have a look at this row. Mm. Four, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. No. One, four, five, nine. Excuse my mumbling. I do like to mumble sometimes when I'm playing Sudoku. Ah, sevens are not finished yet. We've got sevens up here. How about that? There's a seven to be had. That was, in fact, the final one. Uh, right, I can see what's coming here because I definitely know that we are missing three, four, and five, and I see three and four and five up here. What's the other number? Six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, three, four, five, all blocking this square, and that's got to be a six. <laughs> so six is up there, fours are down here, ones are here, eights are there. <laughs> Still don't get what I need. Never mind. Um, six, on the other hand, we can do something about six is blocking down here. That puts a six into that square nicely, actually, because six now blocks across here. That gives us a six up there and that will finish off this block. Ha ha. Great. We know that that is a six and now we have our eights blocking up here. We know that's an eight and we have our fours blocking across here. We know that's a four and we know a one will finish it. One blocks across here, that puts a one into that square. I'm, I've, I've woken up a little bit, actually. I was feeling very sleepy before, but I've woken up just slightly, which is a good thing, I guess, when trying to play Sudoku. Missing digit here is two. That blocks across there. That's got to be a two. And the missing number here is going to be an eight. And the missing numbers here are two, five, which I don't know yet. Um, so we made some progress. I'm not sure what I need. Let's have a look at this column here. It looks like three and something, three and nine. Okay, we've got the three blocking across here. So that'll be our three. And this will be our nine. Uh, what is missing from here again? I've forgotten. Um, two, five, six, is it? Can we do anything about the two, five, six? Um, Okay, we have three down here and three across these two rows, so that puts three into that square.
Okay, gotcha. We have one down here, one down here, and one across here. So that is our one, one blocks across here. We still need one and five in this column. So that will be one, that will be five. And then the five blocks across here and across here, that puts the five into that square. The last number here is a four, I believe. Four blocks this square here, that gives us a four here. Nine is the last number we need here. We also need a nine to finish this row. We have nine blocking across here and nine down here. So here is our nine. Missing number here is a four. Uh, missing number here is a two. Two blocking up, giving us the two there. The last number to place here, uh, four. Fours block across these two rows and that gives me a four there. Uh, six blocks this square. We don't have six in this row yet, so that's the six. And to finish this row, I believe it's a five that we need. Five blocks up there, giving us a five there. Five blocks across here, putting five into that square as well. This, is got, this has got to be a two. Two blocks across here, putting the two there. We need a two up there as well. Uh, one number here, I think it's a three. And we have three blocking down, putting the three here. Then we're looking there for a nine and a six to finish the grid. So much, certainly much easier than yesterday's uh, difficult puzzle. That's it for the New York Times uh, for Sunday. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Bye-bye.